I just keep telling our girls that cats are poisonous. Why the f*** would you tell them that? So that they don't want cats and I don't have to deal with having a cat and make them terrified That's of them. sick. I think lying to your kids is important. Not in this regard. I think it's what? great. I think it's genius. It's a Every genius time They're going to go over a friend's house and f scream bloody murder because they see a cat that's fine what a, that sounds like th that person's house problem <laughs> you're a psycho man. <laughs> this guy's ridiculous i gotta get these kids on my side otherwise i'm in a sinking ship why do you dislike cats so much kylie is like they're not poisonous your dad is lying to you i'm like listen if you have a cat the government will come and take it from you because <laughs> It's they're so lethal. I mean, they can kill you. They don't even have to bite you. Just them licking you. You fear their tongue. It has little needles on it. And then I pull up pictures of a zoomed in picture on a cat's tongue. And it looks like needles. And it terrifies the f out of them. F great. You're f ridiculous. Say something right into this microphone. Okay. You gotta hit it with the news. New news. Yay. Who's that? Uncle Travis. Uncle Travis. As a matter of fact, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, an NFL player, have amassed a considerable number of followers, and Wyatt Kelsey, Travis's niece, and Kylie Kelsey, Wyatt's mother, are without a doubt at the top of that list. For a very long time, the two of them have been Taylor's most devoted fans, and now that she is a member of their family in every sense of the word, they are experiencing an overwhelming sense of joy and excitement. In the Kelsey household, whenever Uncle Travis and Aunt Taylor Swift are present, there is a great deal of excitement in the air. This is something that is no longer a secret. Undoubtedly, everyone is completely preoccupied with them. When you look at Wyatt Kelsey, who is only four years old, you will see that he is completely obsessed with Taylor. What is her favorite song? The Man of Course. Furthermore, Wyatt literally begs Taylor to sing it each and every time she comes to visit, and they sing and dance to it together. You are just beginning to get a sense of how wonderful of an Aunt Taylor is. Your daughter's got a favorite uh, Taylor song? So, right now, I've been listening a lot to the uh, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart, the new uh, one. Yeah. And uh, Ellie, right now, there's a, there's a line in that where I'm a real tough kid, I can handle my with Kylie Kelsey, Wyatt's mother, the situation is pretty much the same she is just as excited as everyone else, and she is extremely content with the relationship that exists between Travis and Taylor. Surprisingly, she and Taylor got along famously from the beginning, forming a connection over a wide range of topics, including music and motherhood. There is a possibility that Taylor has not yet become a mother, but it seems that Kylie has been giving her a lot of advice on how she can become a wonderful mother. We can't get enough of a big sister who is always willing to lend a helping hand. To tell you the truth, close relatives say that they are more like best friends than anything else, always laughing and sharing stories. Seeing his niece and girlfriend so close together is something that Travis absolutely adores. He is always beaming from ear to ear when he thinks about how proud he is of the fact that Taylor has become a member of their family. He adores the fact that Taylor is more than just a superstar to them. It is her family. Moreover, whenever there is a gathering of the family, it is always a lot of fun, and it is especially exciting when Taylor surprises everyone with her appearance, as she did on Easter Day, at some of his games, and whenever they had dinner together. And whenever they go to one of Taylor's concerts, Kylie is there to cheer her on like she is her biggest fan, and Wyatt is always in the spotlight, jumping around and singing along with her. The presence of Taylor in the lives of Travis, Kylie, and Wyatt is something that they could not be happier about, and it is evident that Taylor enjoys being a member of their family unit as well. If you give it some thought, you might wonder why you would even want to be in a relationship with a man or woman if they are unable to get along with your family. What if they do not get along with your relatives? However, let's face it there was a time when the entire world was aware that Taylor and Travis were already together. It was almost certain that they would get along with each other's family and friends. There was hardly any confusion about this, due to the fact that in the world of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, family is indeed everything, and despite the fact that they come from different backgrounds, with Taylor coming from a music-filled upbringing in Pennsylvania and Travis coming from a football-loving family in Ohio, they both share a profound dedication to their roots and the families who shape them. Taylor's family provides him with a sense of stability and support. She frequently discusses the close relationship she has with her parents, and she often recounts instances in which they have provided her with encouragement throughout her professional life. On the other hand, Travis attributes his success in the National Football League NFL to the fact that his parents instilled in him the values of perseverance and hard work, which are essential characteristics that have enabled him to have a successful career in the NFL. 
An insider source claims that when Taylor and Travis first met, they discussed how important it was for their families to get along, particularly given that both of their parents are divorced. They also discussed how it was extremely important to them to maintain the unity of the family, despite the fact that their parents are living separate lives. It goes without saying that Taylor's relationship with Travis's family did not become an instant hit. In an instant, Travis's family fell in love with Taylor because of her kind and affectionate nature. It was clear to them that she was a genuine person who placed equal importance on family as they did. Travis, on the other hand, won over the hearts of Taylor's parents with his laid-back demeanor and genuine concern for their daughter's happiness. It should come as no surprise that Taylor and Travis have become inseparable at this point in time. Their affection for one another became more apparent in each and every public appearance, particularly during the concerts that Taylor's era's tour was performing. Travis was frequently seen cheering proudly from the front row, waving and blowing kisses to Taylor as she performed her heart out on stage. He was watching her perform with all of her heart. The fact that they were deeply in love was obvious to everyone who was in their immediate vicinity. When Taylor was on tour, Travis even went so far as to join her on stage for one of her performances. This was the most incredible thing that could have happened. Like guys, no one expected to see that, but when you think about it, it is actually not that surprising at all. Travis has demonstrated that he is the kind of guy who is willing to do anything to make his girlfriend happy, and he is extremely invested in seeing his girlfriend have the best and there is no way that he will forget that experience in the near future. Furthermore, let's be honest that was most certainly not the last time that we would see him perform on a stage with Taylor Swift. These two individuals are truly committed to one another, as evidenced by the fact that they are making a concerted effort to be content and spending a significant amount of time together. This is an even more remarkable aspect of their relationship. In addition to going on vacations, Travis also purchased a million-dollar house for the two of them so that they could spend more time together in a more intimate setting. Even when Taylor is on tour, Travis would show up, and the two of them would go out to dinner, take a stroll in the evening, and kiss each other while holding hands. That is to say, it is the cutest thing that has ever existed. Not only do they not care about what other people think of them, but it is also obvious that they simply want to have the best life possible together. It is a well-known fact that we tend to forget that Taylor had previously performed a song in her honor that was based on her own lyrics. During a performance, Taylor Swift altered the lyrics to her song Karma and dedicated them to Travis Kelce. This caused Swifties to go absolutely crazy. In the beginning, the lyrics were Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me and they were initially dedicated to her ex-boyfriend, the actor Joe Alwyn. While she was performing for the audience, Taylor wore a bright smile and sang, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. However, here's something you should know Karma isn't the only song she's written about their relationship. When Taylor blew her man a kiss while she was singing So High School, in Paris, which is a song about their relationship and how he makes her feel like a giddy teenager again, Travis couldn't help but blush as he smiled despite his blushing. The Alchemy and Treacherous were among the songs that Taylor Swift performed during her acoustic set in Paris. Fans took to social media to highlight the fact that Taylor looked in his direction throughout the entire performance, even though he was sitting in the VIP section. In addition, Taylor wore the colors of the Kansas City Chiefs for her performance in Paris, where Travis Kelsey was attending and cheering from the audience. The concert was also the 87th show of the tour, which was the same number as Travis's jersey, making it a night that was filled with love and a lot of cuteness. And then, while she was performing Willow which is from her album Evermore, which is scheduled to be released in 2020, Taylor pointed to her boyfriend Travis and sang the lyrics, that's my man it has been explained by Taylor that the song sounds like casting a spell to make someone fall in love with you. And the manner in which Travis beamed back at her with a great deal of love in his eyes gave the impression that he has successfully fallen under her spell. Taylor also made a reference to Travis while she was singing the lyrics to her song Blank Space which was released in 1989. The lyrics read, Because you know I love the players and you loved the game. There is no doubt that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's relationship is flourishing, as evidenced by the fact that Taylor Swift finds ways to celebrate their love that are adorable, adorable, and extremely creative during her performances. Travis, on the other hand, is doing an excellent job of making the most of every opportunity to compliment and speak highly of Taylor. She has been described by him as the most genuine and kind person in the history of the world, and he has even referred to her as his soulmate.
It is true that these two lovebirds have faced obstacles, such as dealing with the scrutiny of the media and the never-ending rumors of cheating and breakups however, they are continuing to be strong and are not paying attention to those who are negative about their relationship. What do you think guys? Do you think that the fact that Taylor and Travis respect each other's families makes a significant contribution to the fact that their relationship is so strong? When they get married, do you think the connection between them will become even stronger? In the comments section below, please share your observations. Be sure to sign up for a subscription to Celeb Culture if you do not want to be left out of the knowledge regarding the most recent celebrity news.